Peace, y'all. Hey, I'm Ivory. I'm back, and it's time to eat again. And today, I made cheeseburgers and fries. I sure did. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to see both of them. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I got some sweet potato fries. Mm -hmm. For dessert, I have a flourless cake. Yep. It's called a truffle torte. Mm -hmm. Let's see it right here. This is some Tri-County Pinot Noir. Of course, my neighbor decides to cut the grass right now. Mm -hmm. Y'all see my sweet potato fries? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all want the first bite? Hmm. Mm. 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 Mm, mm, mm. These are St. Pierre buns. A healthy choice. Just FYI. Mm. I am so thankful for this food. This is so good. These are Alexia fries.
Mm-hmm. Cheers. I hope y'all having a peaceful day. Toast to you. <laughs> mm. That pin on the water is good. So y'all, there's a lot of talk in the media about Diddy and his wild freak offs. Mm -hmm. And it kind of started on a more serious note with Cassie and justice, you know, it was serious, but then it kind of turned a little exotic. People talking about a thousand and one bottles of baby oil on the wall, a thousand and one bottles of baby oil. yet to hear a person in Diddy's situation or otherwise talk about participating in an actual freak off. Nobody's saying it from the point of view of a participant. Everybody's on the outside looking in. So to a person like me, even when people talk about it in a serious way, I can tell people don't really understand what goes on in a free call. I hear people saying things, why didn't you just leave? Well, why'd you do it? If you did it, you must have liked it. You must have wanted to do it. I hear people say things like, nobody can force you to, to do X, Y, and Z. cheeseburger there's a lot of talk about these tapes and I hear people like almost making fun 
of these certain rappers and you know people who who they think may be hiding because of these alleged tapes now let me tell you something i have experienced three separate freak offs okay freak offs happen every day b mm -hmm. now p diddy might have coined the term but freaking off ain't nothing new I lived in Atlanta. I worked in Atlanta and in Miami in the nightlife, okay, underworld vibration. I don't know how to say it for YouTube. But I did a video, a car bang, back in the beginning, explaining, you know, some things about Miami and Atlanta. Now, I'm going to tell you this. Not one singular time in Atlanta that I experienced, nor did I hear about or see anything similar to, to a freak off. But once the details come out about Diddy and the, the bottles of baby oil and the pink powder and the, you know, the, the other explicit D rugs. And I'm like, oh, mm hmm. I know what a freak off is. A lot of y'all do too. Mm -hmm. But for the people who don't know, it's a couple of things that I just, I got to make some stuff clear to y'all. Okay. Because the reason why the tapes are critical is because everybody who indulges and the Skittles, the pink powder, the K powder, the cocoa powder. I mean, I say Skittles. The colorful pills, okay? Mm hmm. I'm not gonna put any, I'm not gonna say the real name of anything because, you know, this algorithm. All I'm saying is everybody who's participating in these things, even if it slipped in your drink or if you put it on your own tongue, you look like you're enjoying what you're doing. Mm hmm Now, the free calls I attended, one was in Hollywood, Florida, down toward Miami. And we were working, okay? I was working. There were cops at this free call. The one specific cop that I was paired with, he worked for the bomb squad. I saw his badge. I'm not lying. It don't even matter to me if people think I'm lying. I don't care. I'm putting you on game now. Because I'm going somewhere with this. Those cops was on that K-Powder. Mm-hmm. And every time it was tapped onto my hand, tapped onto, the, they put it right here somewhere in this region. I would pick up the other hand Make it appear, I'm, I'm looking at the, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm playing my part, all right? But I'm at work and I had already got paid. So I'm about to mingle a little bit, do what I do, and I'm fit to slip out one of these doors once y'all get so high that don't even, y'all don't even know what you're looking at no more. But they put that powder on my hand, like that, and I wipe it on the couch, wipe it on the chair, and I snip off the other hand, okay? I know when the lights came on the next day, I know they say, damn, who wasted all the The cops were zooted, okay? They were zooted. And this went on until the sun came up. And I found my opportunity to slip out the door. But it's at the point where people can barely stand up. And, and y'all, because I was not on that pink powder, okay? And it was a lot of powders in the room. It was a lot, y'all, it's so much that go on in a freak off. And yes, you got a freak off. The reason why I'm speaking up about this is because I want to put some things in perspective for people. 
that first freak off that I attended down in Hollywood, I was working. But I attended two more freak offs in North Florida, in Duval County, where I was a willing participant. And we were just having fun. One time it was with my actual boyfriend, and another time it was still with people who I know. Y'all, this was back in 2020, okay? I really don't freak off no more. Let me just make that clear, all right? I really don't freak off no more. Y'all wanna see my chocolate torte? Mm. The other two freak offs in Florida, same thing. There were colorful pills called Skittles. There were different powders. Now they, and I'm, I ain't even gonna lie. I never seen anything as lit as what I saw with those cops down in Hollywood. But anyway, we had some Skittles, okay? Oh, oh yes. Mm, y'all look at, ooh, my goodness. Can y'all see that? No flour. Mm, 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 mm. This is gonna be rich, I could tell. Mm, 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 mm. Something I have to say for the record, okay? Because I know I may have said it earlier, but now let me say it plainly for the record. Ivory does not freak off anymore. That's why I'm okay with sharing these details with y'all. But something that kind of bothers me just a little bit is when people assume that these people have control over their faculties, have control over what they're doing. Once you pop that Skittle, once you sniff up on that pink powder, anything goes. I mean that literally. There's usually a host, you know, the person with the party pack, the person who brings the party pack. You know, there's usually somebody who's kind of in control of the whole situation. Now, they're also partying. They freaking off, too. But I'm just saying. When you're in the wrong hands, I can see this going way left. Now, I'm talking about the people who got flown in from out of town. People like Cassie, who just eventually became lost, okay, in her mind because of these party favors, these party candies. It distorts you a little bit. There's a reason why the parties. The freak offs last three days, okay? And P. Diddy said it himself, and I think on, on Ellen DeGeneres' show about needing water during a freak off. You have to have water because what's gonna happen is we fit to keep rolling. We fit to keep rolling all night and into the next day. And if the party pack still got candy in it, as long as there's candy, we fit to roll until we get to that three day point where your body start turning into a corpse. You get to where you done danced, you done, you y'all done, you know, did the nasty, you done went driving around the city. You, you, a lot of different things can happen during a freak off, okay? But one thing is, you are amplified. Your senses are heightened. Your body feels tingles. You, and if a person is tricked into taking that skittle or is put into your drink, you still do the same thing. You are out there, okay? Release your inhibitions, okay, in the in the worst ways. That's why these people scared of these tapes. That's why they make the tapes. These people who are predators and sick in the mind, they want to party with people who don't want to party, okay. Somebody who just wanna, you just wanna chill. You thought, you know, it's a ditty party, it's cool. We finna go have fun, you just wanna chill. But because that predator is trying to get something from you, they slip something in your drink. Or they just straight up force you to take a pill. 
Now they press record because you look like you're enjoying your involvement because you're gone in the mind, y'all. It's one thing when it's people who, who are participating together, we all rock with each other or, you know, whatever the case is, then when you're actually See, I have to drop something every video. Y'all know that. Uh -huh. That's all on my thighs. I'm gonna leave it too. Anyway, I feel bad for these people because and these people, I'm talking about the people who didn't know what was happening. I have not seen the movie Don't Blink, okay? I'm telling y'all from my personal experience. I, the first freak off, I was watching people lose their mind and I wasn't high, but I knew how to act like it. Like I knew what I'm seeing y'all do. I know how to jump and act like this music. I know how to do all that because I just got paid, okay? And you got to make it out alive. So you have best do your job and then slide on out the door once these folks start passing out. The point is, if a person is tricking to participate in. You still look like you love it. You look like you like it, you love it, and you want more of it. Mm -hmm. That's why they don't want the tape to get out. Because you sound like you're lying when you say, I didn't want to do that. But that tape show the literal exact opposite. It's because of the cape out. And I've never done K-Powder ever, ever, ever in my life. I don't mind admitting what I've participated in. I did have skills before in 2020. Yes, I did. And I'm not proud of that. I'm just honest about that. This is real good, by the way. Mm -hmm. $10 at Publix. To be honest with you, my, my, my participation in the free coughs it was embarrassing, okay? <laughs> because you do do things that you you don't normally do. You might have faded memories, but you remember some of that stuff. And you just like, dang, I, I did, what, 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 where? Oh my God, like, it's just, it's a lot, okay? It's a lot. It's even worse when you're in the wrong hands and you ain't realize you was meant to participate. And somebody don't roof feed you. Hmm. Let me figure out what the inside look like. If I can. Is that good? You gotta take small bites too because it's very rich. So good. Mm -hmm. These are my strawberries, by the way. I put them on top. I'm gonna ask y'all to extend a little piece of grace. As these tapes come out, I'm not making excuses for anybody. I'm just saying you need to put it in perspective. Okay? These people not smoking cigarettes. These people ain't hitting a tree on the Mary Jane. No, I mean that too. But what makes them lose it, what turns it into the freak off is those Skittles and those powders. Mm -hmm. So if you flying out a pro girl or a pro boy on payroll, an e-boy, and you slip that thing in his drink, but you don't tell him, you just give him the drink. And now you, you, you're not really trying to make him drink the drink, but you're like, look, I, come on, get, go, he, take the drink, drink it. And sometimes, you know, it is like a little finesse to it. You might have your finesse, the person who's in, you know, roaming around, making sure everybody's still getting lit. And I'm thinking about these Diddy parties because he got the freak off Olympics. I'm telling y'all about a normal, regular, degular Florida freak off. But when you're rich, you can afford that IV drip on the third day. Mm -hmm. You can afford that vitamin drip on the third day because, see, the rest of us, when I participated in the freak off, the number of days that you freak off is the number of days it's going to take you to recover because you damn near do turn corpse. 
you're not going to work tomorrow or the next day. And, and in 2020, nobody was going to work any of them days. I'm just saying. For the most part. You know, because I was still working. I ain't about to get into all the details because then I know y'all going to be forced to judge me. <laughs> okay? Anyway. Just know. What y'all see in these tapes. I'm not saying whether or not people are willingly participating. I'm saying every single person on the Skittles and Powers, you kind of don't really have control. So it's not quite what it seems. Mm -hmm. That's why it's a good blackmailing tool. If you a super freak like Diddy, and you like guys and girls, now, tricking anyone into doing something against their will is wrong. But the humiliation of what that can do to a man's reputation, and even just his, his manhood, when he done took that, that drink, when, you know, just your influence made him willingly take the power. He, you know, he, he, you know, he just, he wanted to because of you, because of your influence. So when you talk about people like Justin Bieber and Usher, they were kids when they first got around this stuff. I cannot imagine a teenager, man, I ain't even fit to get into that. It's sad and it's very sick. It's sick. It's sick when you're forcing people to do this like that, man. Let me tell you, listen, Diddy, I hope he don't get no freedom because if he gets a lot of freedom while he's in prison, it's going to be a whole bunch of little baby Diddy's popping up because he fit to spread the good gospel. Mm-hmm. But I hope they put that man in isolation. I hope they put his ass in isolation up under the jail. I hope he don't see the daylight. I hope he's forced to sit there with those memories, but don't have the access to the Skittles and the power. So no more freaking off, but you're going to sit there and daydream about them freak offs. If I could have it my way, that's what I would want for Diddy. Because I believe Cassie, I told y'all before, I believe all victims. I believe all, just like they say that the criminals is innocent until they proven guilty. The way I think about it, every victim is telling the truth until you've proven them to be lying. I'm about to let y'all go. <laughs> okay. There's so much more to say. But I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to let y'all go. I love y'all. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what to say. Just. <laughs> Peace, y'all. <laughs> I'll be back. Mm. Oh, this is good.